Today I'm going to be rating all the ships in Hasbin Hotel. This is our personal opinion, by the way. Yes, and it's all for fun. Let's start with the classic, Radio Static. Wait, shouldn't we start with Chaggy first? Didn't you just say that we were doing ships? Yeah, so why not start with Chaggy? I'm going to need you to sit down for a second. I'm already sitting down. Stand yet? up and sit down again. Okay. When we say shipping, we're talking about non-canon relationships. Oh. Exactly. Charlie and Vaggy are in a relationship, so we're not going to be covering those. But it says here in the dictionary that shipping also refers to care. Give me that book. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, let's start with radio static. I think it was one of the first and most popular ships at the time. It definitely played a huge role, not to mention the compatibility of the two. I mean, think about it. Yes, I agree. If they ever decided to join forces, they would be unstoppable. We see them arguing and hating each other time and time again. But that doesn't exactly mean that they wouldn't get along if they actually tried. You can do anything if you're willing to talk about it. Even hide a d body. I don't know about the last one, but I'm definitely giving this ship an S. Yay! S for s Can you just commit Let's just move on to the next one. Can we do Radio Apple? No way! Please! Nuh-uh! Please! Not gonna happen! I'm gonna carve your l out and play with your on second thought, Radio Apple doesn't sound all that bad. Yay! There have been a lot of debates and arguments on this ship, and I get it. It's a classic love story. The two hate each other at first. Like cockroaches and termites. And end up falling in love with each other later. Like termites and cockroaches. Honestly, I just feel like the fandom ruined the ship for me. So are we giving it a D for D? Honestly, I'd take Charlester over Radio Apple any day of the week. You mean Charlester? Same thing. I like it when plugs go into sockets. It makes clicking noises. Do you even know what s is? Of course I do. When I was four years old, my dad... Alistair and Charlie built a fairly strong relationship in the first season. They have their moments every now and then, and I can definitely prefer it over Radio Apple. You add something to an already dangerous thingy. It's kind of like bug spray with acid. Anyway, I'd give this one a solid B. B for brutal? Not the worst ship in the world, but there are definitely some better options. You mean like radio dust? First of all, that's a solid E. What? I get the appeal, but the two are just not meant for each other. What does E even stand for? How am I supposed to know? Did you really have to say that? Or maybe... Moving on! Let's talk about a ship that's actually good. Like Valdangelo? I was thinking Husker Dust. But, but, they're already dating. They're dating in Hell's Hotspot, not in Hasbin Hotel. So, it's not real? Of course not. None of this is real. But it feels so right. Don't get me wrong. This is probably one of the best ships in the series. Exactly. Their personalities go hand to hand. Like b with butter. Not to mention the lessons they taught each other and the bond they've built in season one alone. Like spiders when they eat their own eggs. I think Husker Dust will definitely be canon in the upcoming seasons. They look so hot when they're covered in I'd say that this is definitely an S tier. What about Valdangelo? I feel like Valdangelo is more of a phase than a relationship. How come? Like, think about it. You thought you loved someone, they turned out to be a toxic piece of you get attached, goes down, and you both just leave and move on. But I thought people like to be I mean, there's definitely a kink for that. And a lot of people do. But I feel like it's more of a phase that everyone has to go through. Not really a relationship. Better than Radio Apple? Absolutely. Yay! I think C-tier suits it best. C for the throat, you dirty slut. All right. Now it's time for my personal favorites. And we start with Cherry Snake. Also known as Cherry Viper. Cherry Snake is one of, if not, my favorite ship. The dramatic story, the passion, and the rivals to lovers is something truly unique and unforgettable. Not to mention the heroic sacrifice. Heroic sacrifice? Didn't Adam just swipe left? As I was saying, no relationship is perfect, but this one definitely deserves an A tier. A for atrocious. 
Can you stop saying sh like that? Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry if I upset you. I... I didn't mean it. I promise. I'm not upset. It's fine. Whatever. Don't be sad, okay? I'm not upset. Really? Really. Really? I promise. You promise? Mother f I said yes! Yay! Jesus f Christ! I love you! I love okay, you! Okay, okay, calm love down. You. I love you too. You really love me? Yes, I promise. Let's talk about our ship! Oh, for f sake! Yay! Falafi! F tier! F Moving on to my other favorite ship. Radio Niff? That's an F tier as well. Not even close, by the way. Oh, I know. It has to be Lucarly. What makes you think I'm into that nasty ass shit? Let's see. Your looks, your job, your mouth, and what comes out of it. F tier. Well, you're no fun. And you're one nasty mother Hehehe, <laughs> he, I know. Anyway, the ship I was talking about is called Royal Halo. Royal Halo? Who's that? Charlie and Emily. Bretta. Ew. What the f*** was that sound? Your taste in ships is almost as bad as your taste in fashion. First of all, my taste in fashion f More like swallows, but go on. Second of all, did you ever even think about it? I'm talking to you, by the way. They're the exact same person. Two little balls of joy. I love balls. And while I don't think you have to be the exact same person to have a good relationship, those two interacting with each other and sharing the same passion and attitude is both satisfying and adorable. Definitely an A tier. You know what else is adorable? If you say Charlie Bomb, I swear to God, I'm gonna take no, your- No, silly. John's dog. Who? Charlie Bomb is C tier at best. They're polar opposites. And besides, neither of them are- What dog were you just talking about? John uploaded a new video on the other channel. Behind the hotspot? His dog was adorable. Can you stop plugging the other two channels? Penny and John started playing Minecraft live on the gaming channel. I literally just asked you to stop. Did you know people started shipping John and Penny? Excuse me? They're calling it Jenny. What's wrong with this fan base? Everything. Can we just talk about Guitar Spear? Are you just into it or something? What are you talking about? Lude and Adam are not brother and sister. Whatever you say, butter. I think I'm not the only one that thinks that this is an actual good ship. Loot is more than loyal to Adam, and the two have a long history together. They share a lot of traits, and just look at how Loot behaves when Adam dies. If that's not love and care, I don't know what is. I don't know about this one. They behave like brother and sister. Well, that's the vibes I'm getting anyway, but I'll give it a B. See, here's the thing. While that ship deserves a B tier, there are other ships that I recently discovered that are questionable at best. Let me guess. Twitter? Yes. Thought so. Who the f*** ships Lucifer and Husker? That's weird even for me. Nothing in common. Never even talked with each other. How desperate are you? F for f*** off with that nasty f*** I swear some of these ships are just too much. At least the podcast is coming soon. What do you mean soon? John is already working on it. How do you know that? Uncensored videos early, exclusive videos, access to the Discord server, and upcoming projects. What the f*** are you talking about? Did you know we're going to be doing unethical life hacks? Say what? Patreon link in the description. Get exclusive content extra early. That's it. Wait, I'm done with this where are you going? Enough is enough. Come back. Get your tiny hands off of my f***ing c***.